Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Hearts of Iron 4, continuing on with the Free India campaign. And at the end of the last video, uh, communist supporters were looking for a civil war, but I told them to be patient and wait, as I would like to get more support in the country than we currently have. Uh, right now, we're at 68%, a little bit over that, and I'd like to see that get uh, much higher before we start the civil war. And uh, if we don't get another random pop-up like that, we can always force it with this one, which would pretty much guarantee that we have a civil war. And at that point, we should have enough uh, communist support because we'll have done this focus, which uh, increases our daily communism spread. And by that point, of course, we would have the Civil War. So I think we can wait and uh, it'd probably be preferable to wait until closer to the start of the war any anyway. So right now, the main forces that are fighting or the only forces that are fi fighting are Japan and uh, Communist China and China itself. Now, Nanjing, the capital of China, did fall. And the Japanese continue to make ground up here in the north. I haven't seen any other la naval landings yet. The only other one that they did, outside of taking um, Shanghai, I believe, they did a naval invasion there. Uh, there was also a naval invasion somewhere down here that failed. So we'll just have to see if the Japanese try it again. But for now, they're just kind of working their way through slowly but surely. And again, I have no problem with this slow advance of the Japanese troops. I just want them to be held by China as long as possible until more allied nations get involved. Okay, so now we have a new month, and they're asking for it again. So at this point, we haven't gained that much support. So I'm just going to tell them to relax. Um, I'm guessing that they're going to keep asking every month because they asked in April. Now they're asking in May. And hopefully, we'll get enough support. Now, the thing is, if we have that civil war happen too early, we can't do help from Soviet Union because one of the things here is, is not in a civil war. If we were in a civil war, well, actually, no. Wait, the Soviet Union exists and is not in a civil war. So maybe that's not necessarily... Yeah, no, see here, is not in a civil war. So that would be us, not in a civil war. So not only does the Soviet Union not, they can't be in a civil war, but we can't be in a civil war either. At least I don't think so. Now, we also don't want to be fighting on the same side as the United Kingdom, though, um, or we can't do that. So, and there's nothing that can stop this. So once we've done seek help from the Soviet Union, there's nothing stopping us from getting the civil war we're looking for. Now, we didn't get a pop-up this month, but the month still has some time to go. And I think that pop-up happened in the middle of the month, too. So, I think we have time. Okay, so uh, we just finished that artillery. We could move on to other artillery upgrades. Or we could do our infantry equipment upgrade, which would probably be a good call. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything with support companies. I'm not going to do armor. Um... Land Doctrine, we could do, as we do have some bonuses due to uh, our Commonwealth allies. And we do have also a bonus because of one of our leaders. So it probably would be a good idea to do this while we're still part of the Commonwealth. Uh, as while well, we can still get these bonuses. At least that's my thinking. And... Yeah, alright. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to do another Land Doctrine here, which will give me... 10% uh, defense for both uh, infantry uh, and motorized mechanized infantry and organization plus 10. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll continue. Okay, so we've got another thing here. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to reduce my national unity by 2%, but increase communism support by 15%. At this point, I think we're getting to the point where we can let the Civil War happen. Um, I don't know. I mean, technically speaking, this would uh, be fine, I think. It's less autonomous than Dominion. Oh, see, there's a problem right there. 
we couldn't do seek help from the Soviet Union because if we do the Civil War, we'll be in a Civil War. And then if the Civil War is successful, then uh, we won't be uh, having less autonomous than Dominion. And then um, also, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. So we might not actually be able to go down this tree unless it allows us to bypass it. But that would really, actually, that would actually suck for us if we got the Civil War before we finish, finish this focus. So I, I feel like I have to kind of hold out until we get through here. Now we have not that many days left, so I'm hoping we can manage it. And I'm hoping it doesn't force my hand and do a civil war once we get to a certain level of communism support, because that would be bad too. Um, but I'm hoping we can manage and hold out. So the Japanese are making some grounds up north up here, but this is, you know, desert terrain mostly, so it's going to be harder to defend than the mountains over here, which I'm hoping that the, uh, the communist Chinese have a lot better luck holding out in. Okay. For a brief moment, the Japanese linked up here. Now, granted, they're linked up already because of their um, puppet here, but. We just have to see how well the Chinese hold out. Okay. What do we got here? Soldiers desert to communist partisans. Capitalists and nationalists would have you spill your blood for them on the front lines, turning brother against brother over disputes that do not concern the working man. Instead of taking up arms against workers who struggle abroad, raise them against the oppressors and overthrow the tyrants. The army, usually a bastion of patriotism and loyalty, has proven not to be immune to the communist propaganda spreading rapidly in the British Raj. Soldiers are deserting, refusing to fight for their country, sometimes going as far as joining partisan movements that claim to be preparing for revolution. Okay, change in popularity of communists, 15%. Gains national spirit, communist partisans uh, recruiting, recruiting, which grants uh, recruitable population. Uh, okay, that's a penalty. Daily communism support. All right, so the communism support is practically all the way up, 99%. Again, I don't know if we'll be able to hold out here. But we've only got a little bit of time left. So we're going to go with this. We're going to try and hold off the um, communism thing until we get it done. Because once we get that done, we should be fine. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit um, concerned with, anyway, is... Why would we want this if we already have a civil war? You know what I mean? Like, why would you want this to happen? I mean, the only thing here is that you're not in a civil war. But let's say I'm in a civil war, I win it, and then I'm able to do this focus. Why would I want to do it again? I'm, just, I'm finding a lot of question marks on this. And this, uh, this focus path where I feel like you can very easily get screwed out of doing the more, you know, communist-friendly things. Because to be able to do this, you have to do this. But if you already had a civil war before this point or this point, then you can't do any of these things, right? So, hmm. Well, again, I'm going to try and hold off the Civil War if I can, but uh, we do have uh, the ability to upgrade ourselves here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Chief of the Army here. And I think I want Army Morale at this point. I'm actually not sure here which one to take. I mean, army drill would be awesome too because division training time reduced, which in my opinion would allow us to raise troops and then get them trained faster. Or we could just make our troops overall better. Hmm. 
I think the army morale, though, is what I really want here. Division recovery rate. Let's go with that. Okay. Well, let's continue. And again, hopefully we can hold out until these couple focuses finish themselves. It would have been nice if I had gotten started on that path a little bit earlier because I'm really not sure how much longer I can hold out. I don't want the National Unity to keep dropping here because that would not be ideal. Now, Japan's starting to make some quick progress in this area. All right, so where are we at as far as Germany goes? Yeah, so they're going to be demanding Sudetenland soon. Now, world tension is going to be high enough that once we gain our independence, as much as I could go after Nepal or uh, Bhutan or one of these smaller nations, Afghanistan, Tibet, it's quite possible that the Allies will guarantee independence of anyone I go after. So I'd either have to wait until they get distracted or what have you. More than likely, I'm going to join the Soviet Union in the common turn as soon as I can, just so I have a little bit of security in case we do end up at war with the Allies. That would make things a little bit interesting, though, is by if I join the common turn and then to get a war against the Allies that then brings the um, Soviet Union at war with the Allies, because that would be you know, not falling within history, and we have the AI set on a historical start, so I'm not sure what that would do to the AI and what uh, kind of things that they will try and do. Make me kind of wonder if the Germany and the Soviet Union would come to blows then or not. I would think that they would, but... All right, so at this point... There's not anyone really obvious for me to take here. And I'm almost starting to wonder, is world... They don't let me do this because I'm not independent. So I can't do any of these. And I can't do any of these. Either. One of the following must be true. All of the following must be true. Current ruling power is not democratic. All of the following must be true. Hmm. Okay, so that's, a lot of that has to do with mobilization. I can do mobilization. So, oh yeah, I should probably have done that a while ago. Um, let's do partial mobilization because that gives us more military factory construction speed as well as factory conversion things. So we'll do that. All right, so we'll have mobilization turned up, which will allow us to do limited exports if we wanted to. For now, we're pretty good. Um, what do we got here? Okay, communist partisans we already know about. Okay, I just wanted to check our different modifiers. Let's continue. Okay, so the mountain range is kind of holding out here. They also have river crossings and other things that are going to make everything very difficult for the Japanese. Advancing through here. This little arm is still holding out. Very surprised there why the Japanese haven't crushed this yet. Because it should be out of supply and been out of supply for a long time. Okay, we get the uh, computing machine done. So we can start working on the other things here. So um, I'll go ahead with the... Hmm. You know, I almost kind of wonder, what is the value of encryption and decryption for us? I mean, if, and having encryption and decryption gives you a bonus, but are we likely to have that bonus over anyone that we would be fighting outside of maybe um, smaller nations? All right. I, well, I guess we'll do encryption so that we don't have too much of a penalty ourselves because that will combat decryption by any opponent.
All right, so we haven't had any of the communist events in quite a while, and we are at 100%. All right, research finished, motorized. Um, we do have a full 25% bonus here for infantry equipment, so let's start working on that so we can get it done before we gain our independence and take advantage of that, that bonus. How is construction efforts going? We're still working on civilian factories. At the moment. I actually am thinking about bringing up one of these guys so that uh, we start working on the military factory because we have bonuses for that right now. Out of curiosity, factions-wise. Oh, okay. Chinese United Front is a faction. I never really paid attention to that to see if that was a faction in the past. Okay, what do we got going on here? Okay, a number of communist delegates from around the world met in the Paris today for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the Fourth International Calls for its uh, formation have existed for years with support... Okay. Uh, Stalin has responded to the growing support abroad by ordering additional... Oh, okay, so this is a Soviet uh, event. But, you know, considering that we're going communist, I wasn't sure if it had anything to do with us or not. All right, well, so we're going to get Seacal from the Soviet Union finished. Okay. So we've got France and Britain announce alliance, calling upon the... We know that stuff. We see seek help from the Soviet Union, which should start granting us more autonomy, which we've been losing this entire time. But that's not really what we're concerned about. What we're concerned about is getting the Civil War here. So we're going to start that. So whether we get another pop-up or not, we're going to be at Civil War. I'm going to let this event happen, though. Okay, the Munich Agreement. Um, so that's, you know, Germany getting the Sudetenland, which they have managed to pull off. Um, they will move on to the first Vienna Award. And, uh, what is Japan working? Oh, the Soviet Union takes up our cause. Our hopes for an easy way to independence have been cruelly ended by the British colonial office. When the Soviet ambassador approached them with a request that we should be allowed to determine our own fate, he was quickly told that there was nothing to discuss. The British government claims that the question of our independence is an eternal matter in which no foreign power may intervene. Okay, so uh, let's see what Japan's focusing on. Fortress Japan. Okay. Well, we're going to have our civil war very soon. We've got 100% support here, so I don't even know if there will be much of a fight. But I guess there's always the possibility. And how is our troop recruitment going? Are we being delayed because of supplies, I'm assuming? Which, uh... In theory, support equipment is the main problem. We should be producing that, though. Now we got support equipment right here. But we have to produce 252, so... Hmm. All right, well, if we get more military factories, we'll, uh, we'll divert them over there. I would also like to start producing um, artillery at some point and adding them into the different divisions. More than likely, the support equipment is going to already existing divisions, though, so there's that to consider. All right, well, I see that the Chinese are kind of fighting back a little bit here, and that's actually good news, in my opinion. That means that the Japanese have made rounds and have a foothold, but they're not going to dominate the Chinese. So this is the kind of outcome that I expect, like that I'd like to see happen more often. Okay, so we've got our, our factory now. And we could go with more support equipment, but I think it would be a wiser idea to start uh, getting artillery out. It'd be nice to also produce uh, the motorized units, but I don't think that we're going to be doing that. Um, what I am going to do, though, is we'll start with the uh, mountain units. 
um, because they still need to be produced, and we'll add support artillery to them. And we'll go from there. Still surprised this is holding out. There's a drive here by the Chinese, but it might be countered here by the Japanese pretty hard. As a matter of fact, it just did. So, a little bit of a counterattack on the Japanese side, and they're pushing in pretty strong here. It's possible to cut off these units, which could be a devastating blow to the Chinese. As a matter of fact, I see a real chance of a unit getting cut off here if the Chinese are not careful. Although, technically, the Chinese could cut off the Japanese by attacking into here. But uh, we'll have to see. Their civil war is looming. And once that happens, we are going to have to slow down here because I'm going to have to evaluate the situation. I'm kind of... I'm interested to see what of all of these will carry over once we become a new communist nation. And what our flag will look like and what our name will be and a whole bunch of other things. But we are currently... 16 days away. I'm sorry, not 16. 25. Alright, so... Looks like they're attacking pretty aggressively into Communist China, Chinese territory. Again, I'm hoping that the river here, as well as the mountains, will hold them back. give the Allies time to get involved. Now, Hong Kong will be a place where fighting could happen, as well as uh, the French-held territory over here might get attacked by uh, the Japanese. And that's going to make them, the Japanese, awful close to us. So we could be in direct conflict with the Japanese in the near future, depending on how successful the Japanese are at attacking the Allies. All right, um, so we have the infantry equipment that we just got. Um, so this would all be ahead of time at this point. So I figure, why don't we go ahead and... I'm not going to get anti-air or anti-tank, even though we'd have better bonuses. I'm going to go ahead and go with the artillery, though. We're not going to have these bonuses very long, because we only have uh, 10 days to go here. But we might as well take advantage of them while we have them. And out of curiosity, ooh, we just got the encryption bonus. Um, we're in 38. It will be 39 very soon. We could start working on this ahead of time so we get more production um, overall. Might not be a bad idea. And because we have a bonus towards industrial research anyway, we wouldn't be hurt as much doing this ahead of time. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on this one here. Advanced Machine Tools. We got to help out what limited production we're going to have as much as possible. Um, speaking of which, let's bring that guy up so that we can get uh, another military factory cranked out here. All right. Five more days. We'll have our civil war. I'm hoping with 100% support uh, that we'll just flip, but there's possible that we'll have to fight some units here. We might lose some things here too. All right, so we've got a little bit of a pause here. All right, so let's uh, slow down time here a little bit while we evaluate the situation. So we got National Focus Bike Pass, British pilot training, Indian People's Army finished, and message from India changes their diplomatic status with us, declare war. All right, so we're the Indian People's Republic. We only have three divisions. How many How many divisions do does India have? They have 48? That doesn't seem right.
That doesn't seem right at all. Um, maybe it was where I had the infantry placed. But how was I supposed to know which parts of the country would go communist? Um, all right. Let's go with... We can... Ian joins Comintern Research. Any of John's gains an infantry unit in Delhi. Three skilled general named. Uh, we might want this, but we wouldn't want them to pop out in Delhi, would we? All right, well, let me go ahead and uh, we'll start working on more things with this. Oh, we already did motorized. Ah, that was a mistake, actually. Now I see that. Um, let's go with the uh, Royal Indian Artillery here. I think. That's what I'd like to do. Um, unless we want to do clamp down on corruption. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and go with the, um... We technically can get our other research slot here, and we probably want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then we can do that. So, let's go ahead. I'm just a little concerned that we're not going to win the Civil War. Um, so, recruit. Um, I will recruit and deploy them... Over, where is our capital? Over here in Bangalore. All right. From Bangalore. Oops. Try that again. Must be clicking on something. There we go. Must have clicked on something else. All right. Well, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Um, let's bring our, our units down. Matter of fact, let's have you, um, strategic redeploy to there. And you, strategic redeploy, strategic redeploy over there. And you just start marching this way. And as a matter of fact... For recruitable stuff. I could even pop these guys out early. Um, just so that we get we get them out. So boop and boop. And we will strategically well first we'll add them into this army. And we'll strategically deploy them up here. Alright, away we go. I don't know how, with 100% communism support, that flipped that way. Like, I really don't understand how these civil wars work at all, to be honest with you. Um, why did I not gain more of the country? Why did I not gain most of the troops? Like, that, I don't get that. Um, it seems kind of random when you have the civil war happen on how many troops you're going to get. Um, out of curiosity, is India... Still, yes. So they're still a member. All right. Well, we'll try and do our best to win this. Um, let me see here real quick. We've got more political power. Uh, we can up our... You know what, I might want to just wait for this, but what would extensive, extensive conscription do for us? Not anything negative. 
I would like that, so I'm going to hold out until we have enough political power to do that. And also, we still have all of this, so that's good. Alright, you guys start marching up this way. You start marching over this way. And we'll just try and win this thing. As well as I can. With uh, being outnumbered and everything. I mean, at this point, I have five divisions for sure. And they have anywhere from... Oh, wait. They have zero divisions? Huh. How did that happen? All right, I guess we have more of a chance than I thought. Well, in any case, I think this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.